Your IMCA Freezer Performance Northern Sport Mods brought to you by Totten's Plumbing and Heating. Remember everybody out in the pit, spread the word to those that can't hear. 90.1, the FM frequency for here for the Crawford County Speedway so you can keep tabs on what's going on. As they come into three, Reeds and Sullivan start to pick up the pace a little bit. And we're green, Joe Reeds, nice start coming out of four down the front stretch. He's gonna lead the charge down into one and two. Thomas Van Dyke trying to get to the inside of the boogeyman. Brian Sullivan cannot quite get it done. Sullivan in second, tracking was right on the back bumper of the 1R of Reeds. Now Van Dyke tries to go to the inside of Sullivan. Can't quite get it done. Sullivan with a better run. He'll retain second place. Going into one and three, Sullivan is able to get underneath of Reeds. And Van Dyke to the inside of Sullivan. But uh, coming out, can't quite make a stick. Now this time Van Dyke's gonna adjust his line to the mid side, almost to the high side. He is side by side with a nose ahead of Sullivan. This time he's gonna get second place and he's trying for the daily double as he comes down side by side with your leader. Down the back stretch and into turn number three. Can't quite get him clear, is he gonna get it done this time? Yes, new leader, Van Dyke. Now Sullivan sees his, his way to get around the 1JR of Reitz. Meanwhile, a little bit further back. You've got McCoy and Posted. Oh, Posted gets a little loose. McCoy gives him a little shot in the shorts, a little bumper loving. Around goes Poston, but he's able to get a refire and keep it going. We are going to stay green. Coming out of four, Thomas Van Dyke is going to see the white flag. 1.4 seconds ahead of the boogeyman, Brian Sullivan. As they fired off down the back stretch, one more time into three and four. Well, he won the feature, the heat race and the feature last week. He's going to try and go two for two tonight as Thomas Van Dyke's going to win. The boogeyman Brian Sullivan in second. Joe Reed's third. Fourth, Tim McCoy. Rounding up the top five is going to be the 37 of Thomas Beal. RPMs are going to come up. Green flag is down, and we are racing as a jackpot. Cody Olson going to lead them down into one and two. Hayden Hillgardner right now is going to tuck right up on the tail of the uh, car. Tommy Tanner in third. Battle is on for fourth between Scouten and Jones. Scouten to the low side. Jones right with that razor chassis loves to eat on the high side this time can't quite get it done He is gonna go ahead and uh, make another try here in just a moment But that is your top five as it is Olsen, Hillgardner, Tanner, Scouten, and Jones A little bit further back 74 of cool and the 40 of looter Two laps down four laps to go currently or before laps to go this time by. Cody Olson, we talked about it last week. The last three seasons, he has been in the IMCA Freezer Performance Modifieds, brought to you by Quality Truck Tire and Auto Service. But before that, he was a back-to-back -back champion in the sport mods, decided to come back to home to what he knows, and it has been paying dividends already. As uh, he won the heat race last week, came up a little short in the feature for the win, but uh, still, every bit competitive two laps to go and he'll have another heat race win under his belt so far so the field is strung out as the white flag comes out one lap to go
2.4 second advantage for Cody Olsen. And Cody Olsen's gonna win the heat race. Hayden Hillgardner in second, Tommy Tanner third, Honor Scout in fourth. Buddy Ray Jones is gonna round out the top five. Hunter Poston rounds out the field. Crawford County Speedway, you know what I... Who's going to park it at Van Wall Equipment Victory Lane? We're about to find out. Green is out, and Joe Reed's going to take off the early advantage. He's going to slide up in front of the five of Hillgardner. Meanwhile, five wide. Are you kidding me, ladies and gentlemen? Five wide. You had Olsen. You had Van Dyke, Sullivan, Hillgardner, and Reed's. And Hillgardner now with the lead. You have got to be kidding me, Crawford County Speedway. Wow. And now they're back to three wide. It's going to be Hillgardner with the lead. I do believe that Joe Reitz was second and Olsen was third, checking timing and scoring. Yes, that is correct. Oh my, Lanta. Five cars under a blanket. They are slicing and dicing it left and right, ladies and gentlemen. Jackpot Cody Olsen. He rolls triple sevens. He'll take the lead. Reitz now trying to get to the inside of Hillgardner, not quite able to make it. Meanwhile, Thomas Van Dyke trying to get to the outside of the boogeyman to get around him. However, his momentum keeps getting broken just a little bit. The dust is now starting to settle as it is. Cody Olsen, one second advantage over Hillgardner, who now is under pressure from 13 of Van Dyke and the one JR of Reitz. Five wide in a sport mod feature, folks. That is amazing, and these drivers made it work. Are you kidding me? When I heard Cody Olson went back to a sport mod, I knew it was only a matter of time before he took a checkered flag. So far, well, was so good. Caution lights are out. Bill Gardner chooses the high line. We'll see if it pays off for him. Oh, he gets a bit of a bad start. Van Dyke's going to get by him, as is Sullivan. He is getting swallowed by the mass of humanity. As Olsen is going to lead Thomas Van Dyke now sitting in that second place spot. And he is reeling in the triple seven. Thomas Van Dyke, last week's feature winner. Cody Olson making his return back to the Sport Mod race. He desperately wants a win. But he's got to hold off one of the best to do it. And it's going to be high, wide, round the outside. New leader, Van Dyke. Thomas Van Dyke able to get a better run coming off of turn number two. He gets the high side run, a little high side hustle, and he is going to take the lead. 
Now Cody Olsen goes from the hunt into the hunter as he has to figure a way to get back up to the 13 of Andyke and get by him, which is no small task at all. Thomas Beal, Brian Sullivan, and Joe Reitz round out that top five. Nine laps down, six laps to go. Thomas Van Dyke now to a six tenths of a second advantage over Cody Olsen. But wait a minute, Olsen drives it deep into one or three and four. He's looking, punches, taking the slide job. City leader again is going to be Olsen. This time it's going to be a crossover move by Van Dyke. He's trying to pull the same thing, cannot get the door shut in time. Olsen once again is leading and on a scout and problems for the ONA as she is slow down the front stretch and into one and two. Is she going to be able to get it pulled down in time as the leaders are coming? Oh, it's going to be close, close, close. No, caution is back out. Oh, my. I don't know what's more exciting, the fact that we were about to see one heck of a battle between Olsen and Van Dyke at full song, or the fact that they're now only going to have a four-lap dash where it is going to end up being a battle Roy Al. So here's the situation, folks. Four laps to go. Cody Olsen looking to take the triple seven and jackpot his way into Van Wall Equipment Victory Lane. Thomas Van Dyke, last week's feature winner, looking to go two in a row. Thomas Beal, Boogeyman Brian Sullivan, Joe Reed's all looking for their first win of 2023. Four laps to go, we're back live. Olsen with a sizable advantage. He bank boards it off the cushion in between one and two, gets a great drive down the, the bottom of the hill. This time he's gonna go into three and four on the low side. Van Dyke matching his every step. Van Dyke has three laps to make up eight tenths of a second. Can he do it? Joe Reeds gets around the 14S of Sullivan. That is for fourth. Now looking at the 37 of Beal. He's looking to get up in that third place spot. This time by nine tenths of a second. Olsen is pulling away. Through one and two one more time. This time out of four, Brian Broderson is going to have the white flag in the air. Can Cody Olsen get through two more sets of turns? to park himself back in Van Wall Equipment Victory Lane in a sport mod the way he did so many times during his two-year domination run. Down the back stretch into three and four. Jackpot! Cody Olsen is gonna pick up the win. Thomas Van Dyke second, Thomas Beal third, Joe Reed's fourth. Oh, and you gotta be kidding me. Beal blows up at the line. Thomas Beal blows up sky high at the line to take third. Oh, Joe Reed's fourth in the boogeyman. Brian Sullivan rounds out the top five. I, folks, I'm an announcer. I have a very big mouth and a lot of crap in my brain. Very seldom am I speechless, but I've got nothing right now, folks. Just what an amazing, whew, what an amazing freezing performance Northern Sport Mod feature presented by Totten's Plumbing and Heating on, whew, on Hoffman Agency Night. With that late race restart, what were you able to do to be able to stay out front? Uh, had Tom show me where the line was there. It was pretty good on the bottom. And then, uh, you know, I was, I was looking at the top under a caution. I was like, man, it looks really good up there. And then all of a sudden, this Tom blows my doors off. And I'm like, well, I better get up there, too. So um, he was a little bit worse in three and four than I thought I was. But, uh, 
you know, it was all in all a good night. Five nights on the car, so first win, so I'll take it. I've had some bad luck here and there, so anything's better than what I've had, so. Absolutely. Who, who uh, helps you out on the car? Oh, man, I got a, a bunch of people. I got Foxy Bros uh, Farms up in South Dakota, Moore's Property, uh, Reese Auto Parts and Service, D.C. Riley, RCB Trucking, uh, Jerry Chambers, um, the Shirkies, my wife, my daughter, uh, first win. So it'll be a good one here. So we'll party tonight for a little bit and hit it tomorrow at Harlan. Congratulations. Cody Olson, the winner. In the freezing performance, IMCA Northern Sport Mods, presented by Totten's Plumbing and Heating.